Hey, it's Rasul Berry, and I'm here in scenic Central Park in New York City. You know, you can't talk about Central Park without talking about romance and love. Our favorite romantic movies are even filmed here, like When Harry Met Sally, or Breakfast at Tiffany's, or Boomerang, and Brown Sugar. All of these movies are filmed here because there's just a certain love that's in the air. But the reality is that romantic love is not the only type of love. I remember when I was going to fly to study abroad, right? And I'm at the airport about to say bye to my mom for like three months. And I go to hug her and I just feel her just start to cry in my arms. And I was like, man, this woman loves me. And that was great, but the reality is that family can still frustrate us. Lovers can still let us down. And even our friends can betray us. But there is one love that is the foundation that all these other loves, when it's built on that, can be sustained. There's a verse in the scripture that says, God demonstrates his own love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus didn't die on the cross simply for his family or for his friends, but even for those who actually rejected him, who betrayed him and scorned him, and that he decided to enter into their condition and do something about it anyway. It reminds me of stories that we know in our own culture, like during the Civil Rights Movement, Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. was often asked why did he continue to preach a sermon on loving your enemies, even in the midst of being attacked, being threatened, and ultimately being assassinated for the good of others. He said this, love is the only force that can transform an enemy into a friend. You see, at some point, people will disappoint us and let us down. But the love of God is there even in the midst of those moments. The Bible asks this one question. It says, can anything separate us from the love of God? And then it quickly answers, not our past, nothing in our present, nor in our future could ever separate us from the love of God. And that is the greatest love story ever told.